2006, 2010, 2013, and in 2016. It all comes together in an all-new Pokémon adventure. Pokémon Sun and Pokémon Moon. Available worldwide in nine languages. Hello Pokemon Masters, this is Crimson here, and today we'll be looking at an analysis and discussion of the Pokemon Sun and Moon announcement trailer that went out last week um, with the Nintendo Direct. And while we didn't get much, there was the year of release for each generation of Pokemon, and then some development process photos when they actually announced the game. It was really nice, uh, but they didn't give too much, and luckily you have someone who's willing to go through them and just do some outside research to figure out what they mean, may mean for you. But if you do enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and let me know in the comment section what you'd expect from Sun and Moon. Of course, if you don't like this video, hit the dislike button and let me know what you didn't like about it. And though, without further ado, let's get started. So looking at the trailer, first of all, uh, Pikachu has lost more weight. I mean, they always redo the designs of these games. I think they do really well with um, just modernizing the design, but over the years, Pikachu's design has been made slimmer and slimmer, and we can see that the above image that from like the 1995 release, we can see how much they've changed it and slimmed them down, um, made them more curved, a lot more smooth of a design than the, just the original Pikachu design, which I see nothing wrong with. I think it's pretty cool. Um, and albeit it's not really too, too important, but I thought it was a really nice thing that they wanted to highlight first for the familiarity aspect. But let's go into the trailer itself um, a little further than that, and I'm going to go a little out of order from the sequence of the trailer. So let's start out with the hotel-esque building that you do see. Um, it's really, really big. First of all, it looks really nice. It looks water-themed, which I love. Water Pokemon are amazing. Um, besides maybe Veltal, most of my favorite Pokemon are water types. Uh, but besides from that, um, let's look at some of the obvious things from the picture. First of all, there's this fountain in the lower left corner of um, the the hotel area. And on the fountain, there's a horsey little statue at the top, suspended by three crystals. Those crystals are red, blue, and yellow. Um, I feel like this is a shout out to the red, blue, and yellow virtual console ports, which were revealed to be able to connect their Pokemon bank to Pokemon Sun and Moon. Which I also think is a great feature, and that'll be in a future video. But for now, let's talk about the hotel-esque building. Um, now, it looks really big, and it's got some designs on it, actually. There's a lot of different Pokemon images on the window-ish looking parts. So, the building has its own distinct appearance. Um, it does not look like it's from any other region. It's not like this gen like every region has a theme for the area. It's from like France is for Kalos, so Unova was New York, Hoenn um, were those islands, and you got you know, Japanese main islands as Kanto and Jodo. So it has its own distinct style. Um, so if we look at the windows, there are images of what appear to be from left to right a horsey, Spiel, Staryu, Chinchou, I think Magikarp, horse, another horsey, and then what appears to be a Krabby. And a lot of people have also pointed out that the building has to be a hotel because there's a female character in the front um, near the trainer that looks almost like red, and that's also a really interesting thing, but I think that's just a reference. But there's a female character out front who's holding a suitcase. So a lot of people think this is a hotel. But the actual main reason I think it's a hotel is because of this. If you look at the image above, this is an actual real life hotel. It's the Raffles Hotel in Singapore. Um, and a lot of people think that this is what the hotel is based off of, and if you look at them side by side, they actually do look very close in design. Um, and Masuda actually had just visited Singapore very recently, and every time that he announces a new game or something, he usually visits the area right before he did it with Kalos, he went to France, for, I think a few months before X and Y were formally announced. Um, and he's done this in the past, so a lot of uh, YouTubers and people who have looked into this are like, well, he just visited it here. The theme is probably going to be this because this is an exact landmark pretty much from the area. I, I am inclined to agree. Um, there's really nothing I can disagree with on that. It looks very similar and we will have to wait till the games come out to find out. But I think that's a really interesting idea. And I think it's a distinct possibility that this new region would be based on Singapore um, because that is a landmark. And as for that, I'm almost completely certain that this is a new generation. Um, especially with the constant use of new on the Pokemon website. Actually, if you go to the Pokemon website's page for Sun and Moon, you'll actually see the word new is very, very blatantly used. You know, new adventures, new Pokemon, everything. Um, this is very... it's being marketed very clearly that this is not a Gen 6 game. This is not what we're used to. This is a different, distinct region, area, Pokemon, everything. Um, this is not Gen 6, and I know a lot of people are... There was a leak 
a leaked list that went out of supposed Gen 6.5 Pokemon. Um, either that's completely false, or those Pokemon are going to end up being the Gen 7 set, and they're going to pull them off of Kalos. But, um, that list is not confirmed, it's not officially Pokemon sponsored, so I'm going to shy away from that. Um, I will put it in the description below if you'd like to look at it. Some of the sources, you can just Google it, or I'll give you one of the sources it's on like Valor.net, one of their posts, but it was originally a Japanese 4chan post, so you're not getting that link. It's, it's 4chan. Fuck 4chan. Pardon the French. Um, but yeah, I'm certainly it's a new generation, just the way it's presented, and also in the trailer, they go through each year with the new generation coming out. I mean, it had Gen 1, 90, uh, 96, you know, Gen 2, 99, so on and so forth. Um, and then they went to 2013 with X and Y, and then you see it now in 2016, that's when they presented Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's just, it's very, it's being marketed as a new generation. They may not flat out say it, but it's very, very obvious. Um, but yeah, and I also think that, um, back to the hotel, I think this hotel also might have to do with either the mechanism itself or be like a reference to how the Gen 1 Pokemon are finally being able to be ported directly from the Gen 1 games to an actual Pokemon game that we play today um, that isn't ported. And X and Y actually were full of references to the first generation, and I feel that these games will also have similar references in the same nature. Um, Gen 1, it, it's the 20th year anniversary of Pokemon. They're gonna reference themselves in it. It's just kind of natural. It's reminiscent. It's, it's a storied franchise. So there is that. And um, there's another. New, there's another piece of evidence. A couple pieces actually that this is a brand new generation of Pokemon, and it's that there's a brand new Pokemon's wireframe revealed during the announcement trailer. Um, this seems to be the generic bird Pokemon for the region. And you know, between games, unless it's not a new generation, um, there's never any if it. If it's not a new generation, there's always, like, a lack of new Pokemon. The only thing they ever do in the same generation is introduce new forms. They got the Oxes, Giratina, Shaman, Keldeo, etc. Like, that's the only thing they ever do. They never introduce brand new Pokemon that have never existed before in the middle of a region. And they had the chance to do that with with um, Gen 6, and they didn't, even though they had the mechanical capability. They want to keep the precedent. So, introducing new Pokemon, now this isn't on a Generation 6 yet. Um, another hint of evidence with that, too, is... During the announcement, later on the trailer, I'm not going to go much into this, but basically the Pokebank thing where you can port the red, blue, and yellow Pokemon, you can only port them to Sun and Moon. You can't port them directly to XY, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, so that's another sign that these are a completely different series of game, and um, not Generation 6. And then, I'm going to go into a little more of the nice aesthetic stuff, because I thought there was some really cool stuff here. So here we have what looks like to be a brand new Pokemon Center design. Um, the frame of the Pokeballs over the door, and the traditional Center colors uh, are present. So I, I think it's the, the new Pokemon Center design. And here you can see that one of the designers is actually looking over like different drawings related to the Pokemon Center and other building structures um, inside one of these, like a brown background basically. And there's almost like the Pokemon Center desk in the middle. It looks like it could be. Um, and I think these designs are really nice, and it shows again that there's a distinct style in a different region. Pokemon, but I think they're doing a really, really great job with that. So finally, the last piece of evidence I want to look at um, is logo himself. Well, it's not even evidence; it's actually a different idea. But I feel like that if you look at the logos, you know the colors of Sun and Moon, um, they're orange and blue, but they're lighter shades. So there's red and there's red and Sun and blue, bluish purple and Moon. Um, both colors were sort of represented in X and Y. What I think is all right. So the colors of the logos are relatively close to those of X and Y, and while my theory on this potential relationship between the two sets of games is going to be in a different video, I just want to note, um, all four colors appear on the crest of Perfect Zygor, like on the chest area where the colors are. If you look closely, you'll see that like it's white in the middle, and then it's like the, the moon and orange colors, and then it's um, the blue, or the X and Y colors, like at the far ends on the same side. Um, this makes me feel like, the if you look at it like with all four of them lined up above the picture, you can kind of see where the colors fit in. It's not too much of a stretch, especially if you zoom in on the core of Zygarde, the perfect Zygarde's chest. So what I feel like this is just as um, going to be a continuation of X and Y story, maybe like a few years later. Um, similar like Black 2, Y2, or even like Johto's three or four year gap. Um, and unlike Gen 5's thing, it's actually a separate generation because they're introducing new stuff. Um, but I do feel like this will be a sequel plot to X and Y, and we'll have a lot of the story holes pl um, plug in. I know there's been a lot of like people wondering, well, there's no Z, what's going to happen to Zygarde? I really do feel like that's, this is going to be a continuation of the Kalos story in a different region, um, very much like Gen 2, and I'll be getting to that in another video. 
But um, that's going to do it for my discussion or analysis of the Sun Moon announcement trailer. And I know there's a lot more I could have covered. Um, there are some other videos I'd like to do, including the theory about the X and Y and Sun Moon relationship, as well as the um, new Pokemon I do want to look at separately in the trailer um, and talk about what the new Pokemon could be and what we could be looking at um, in the future for this. But um, that is going to be an. an that's going to be about it for my Sun and Moon announcement, so please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and please subscribe to us. Um, if you want, leave a comment below with your initial impressions of Sun and Moon, and until next time, uh, keep training, fellow masters. Thanks for watching.